Alright, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Goose Gaming and welcome to Black Ops Cold War Season 2 Roadmap. Yes, we have officially gotten the Season 2 Roadmap and let me tell you there are some amazing things coming and a lot and I mean a lot of content coming as well. If you guys are excited for Season 2 then make sure to see for the like button, first in Call of Duty make sure to subscribe, turn on your notification bell and join the notification squad. Without further ado, let's get right into it. The first and most important piece of information I need to tell you guys is the release date. Season 2 will officially begin on the 25th of February which is just less than a week away. However, before we get that Season 2 update on February 25th, we will have two updates the first of which will be for black ops cold war multiplayer and zombies and that will come out on the february 23rd and it will be scheduled between 9 pm and 11 pm pacific time and then the following day on february 24th warzone will get an update again between 9 pm and 11 pm pacific time now unfortunately they have not mentioned anything regarding the size of the updates so we'll just have to wait and see okay first of all let's talk about all the things that we already knew were coming so we can have more time to talk about the things that we did not know about let's start off with the operators we will have four new operators coming for the first time ever the first one is going to be Naga, he will be part of the Warsaw Pact and he will be coming launch week. The second operator is gonna be Samantha Maxis, of course a zombies character. Now this was actually leaked quite a while back so we knew Samantha Maxis was gonna be an operator and for the first time ever a zombies character is now into multiplayer and even Warzone. Maxis will be part of the NATO and she'll be coming in season. We move down the block and we have Wolf, he will also be part of the NATO and he will be also coming in season. And lastly we have Rivas, once again she'll be part of the NATO group and also coming in season. Now make sure you guys are sitting down and relaxed because this next thing that I'm gonna talk about is gonna absolutely blow your mind for the first time ever we're gonna be getting six yes you heard that correct six new weapons not one not two not three but double that six new weapons in one season for the first time ever and let's begin the first one is gonna be the fire 83 assault rifle it will be coming launch week the description reads this fully automatic assault rifle is a heavyweight among its peers as it claims one of the fastest rates of fire in its class an outstanding effective range for solid damage and of course it will be unlockable at tier 15 of the season 2 battle pass the second weapon is gonna be the lc 10 sm MG and it's also coming launch week it will be unlockable at tier 31 of the season 2 battle pass now the lc10 was actually leaked a while back so we already knew this weapon was coming but anyways the description reads a well-rounded fully auto submachine gun the lc10 grants cqb operators the ability to stretch fights out in the mid-range on a smaller agile weapon platform thanks to its solid accuracy and extended effective damage range although its damage per shot is on a lower end of the smg spectrum its above average fire rate and lower recoil can prove to be a deadly combination and if you guys are melee users then this is going to be absolutely beautiful because we have a couple melee weapons coming the first of which is going to be the machete and it's coming in season we move further down the block and we have another melee weapon this time the e-tool or a small shovel as they call it this will be coming in season our next weapon is not going to be a melee however it's going to be the r1 shadow hunter crossbow and it's also coming in season as you guys can see we have some new images of them they absolutely look amazing all of them and finally a new sniper rifle the zrg 20 millimeter sniper and it is also coming in season if you guys cannot tell already then i am absolutely in love with season 2 however this is where i'm a bit disappointed as you guys know I'm a multiplayer guy I like to play multiplayer more than zombies or warzone and let's be honest the multiplayer part of things in season 2 has gotten the shorter end of the stick because when it comes to maps yes we've got four new maps however when it comes to the 6v6 we've only gotten two and to be honest that's disappointing the first map we've got is apocalypse a 6v6 map and it's coming launch week it is gonna be set in the Laos jungle the second map is called Golova and it is coming in season it is set in a Russian village located in the Ural plains when it comes to gunfight we have a new map called mansion this one's coming in season and if you guys remember the campaign mission end of the line this is based on that and finally the last map will be again this one actually everybody asked for said no one ever <laughs> it's miami strike it's a 6v6 map and it's coming in season however it is basically just a weather variant of the map miami instead of it being miami at night this one is going to be miami at daytime and that's pretty much it next up we have a new score streak being added into season 2 and this one is the death machine it's coming launch week and that is absolutely amazing i am very excited for the return of the death machine i cannot wait to use it and i can already tell you guys it's going to be an op score streak as as usual we also get some new game modes first of all the returning gun game yes it is coming launch week gun game is back again i absolutely love gun game cannot wait to give it a go in black ops cold war we move further down the block we have a new game mode called stockpile and this one is coming in season it's basically a mix of kill confirmed and hard point together for a fast paced slay heavy objective game mode operators can carry multiple dog tags at a time and attempt to deposit them for a massive boost in score and xp but be careful if they are killed all their dog tags will scatter for anyone to pick now we had this game mode back in modern warfare and it was actually quite enjoyable once again cannot wait to give it a go in black ops cold war and lastly we have hard point multi team this one's coming in season now hard point multi team is the same thing as your normal hard point with a small twist this hard point variation tasks 10 squads of four with capturing and defending hard point hills around the map that rotate every 120 seconds and as you guys know a new season means four new prestige levels you know how prestige works in black ops cold war every 50 levels you get a new prestige and some rewards with it as well and here are the images of the new prestige emblems they look absolutely amazing now let's move on to some warzone content and this season is going to be 
be absolutely crazy for Warzone because there's gonna be a lot of content coming and also the heavily rumored new map for Warzone. I cannot wait to be honest with you guys. The first new thing added in Warzone in Season 2 is gonna be new points of interest areas. The description reads, across Verdansk there are a number of points of interest to either discover or more fully explore. All advancing Warzone story while offer new places to scavenge and scrap for survival. Last started of the coast of Rebirth Island, recent intel suggests that the cargo tanker Vodianoi has gone missing at sea. However, recent visuals have identified a vessel matching the description heading towards the port of Verdansk. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this is absolutely interesting. What is Vodianoi doing heading to the port of Verdansk? Is Adla in Vodianoi after being captured by Stitch? And it actually makes sense because after Adla was captured, Stitch said that he was transporting him to Verdansk. So this would make sense for Adla to be in Vodianoi. And what is Vodianoi doing in Verdansk? We are not sure. However, this next part of the description is very very important and very exciting because it reads the following. Meanwhile, within Verdansk, something major is beginning to rumble deep underground. Although other reports on these new locals are still classified, we advise to explore these areas at your own risk. Okay, something major is beginning to rumble deep underground. As you guys know, deep underground in Verdansk, there are missiles. So this is pretty much confirming that the nuke event will finally happen, probably destroying Verdansk and giving us that new map for Black Ops Cold War and for that one year anniversary of Warzone. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm very very excited. Stay tuned as I always say to this channel because you do not want to miss it. Everything regarding Call of Duty will be on this channel right here. But wait, that's not it because we also have some new game modes for Warzone. This one is called Exfileration and it's coming in season. It's basically as it sounds, it's your normal Warzone. However, before the circle fully collapses, there's an Axel chopper that's gonna come out. It's gonna deploy a portable radio. Whoever gets it, holds on to it for the longest, gets the Axel and wins the game automatically, whether he's playing solos or as a team. The second new game mode is gonna be Rebirth Island Resurgence Extreme. It's the same thing as your normal Resurgence mode. However, the player count has been increased all the way up to 90 players. Okay, now it is finally time to talk about the new Zombies Experience Outbreak mode. It is finally confirmed now. Actually, it was confirmed yesterday by Activision when they put it up on their website and then they were quickly to delete it because it wasn't meant to come out yet. However, now it is 100% confirmed that it's coming launch week of season 2. And if you don't know what this is, it's basically a new open world Zombies Experience. It's the same thing as your normal Zombies. However, now it's gonna be played on the Fire Team Dirty Bomb maps. The description for the Outbreak mode reads the following Continuing the Dark Ether story, Outbreak takes place across massive play spaces throughout the Ural Mountains. Packed with new enemies, team objectives, player rewards, and intel to discover on foot, in vehicles, or by jump pads. Whether it's hunting down elite enemies using a satellite tracker, escorting a rover that detects dimensional portals, or holding out against zombies in a confined dark ether zone, agents of Requiem will need to complete these investigations before they can exfil or risk entering a dark ether portal to a new region for even more rewards. Wow, that sounds absolutely, absolutely amazing. I cannot wait for the outbreak mode. It sounds absolutely crazy. I cannot wait to jump in. I am very, very excited. But wait, that's not it for zombies because you will also get a new field upgrade called Frenzied Guard. And as you guys can see in the screenshot in front of you right now, once you use this new field upgrade, you will spawn a guard that all the zombies are distracted by him, they will start attacking him so you can actually respawn or recover health, whatever you want to do, giving you that couple seconds of rest time before the zombies again start targeting you and trying to eat your face. But hold on, that's not it because there's even more for zombie players, this time a new ammo mode called Shara Blast. And what this new ammo mode does is actually each bullet you shoot has a chance to explode dealing additional explosive damage and destroying an impacted armor. So basically each of your bullets has a chance to be an explosive round that is absolutely cool. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, season 2 shipping out to be one hell of a season, amazing content for war zone, zombies, not so much for multiplayer but that's fine. I cannot wait for season 2, as always everything will be on this channel so make sure you are subscribed, turn the notification bell so you don't miss any of these amazing videos. And I also want to apologize for this video being longer than usual but I had to cover everything coming in season 2 and that's why it took us a bit longer than usual so like I said I apologize once again. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching this video, if you want to watch my previous one make sure to click the video on the screen right now and if you guys are excited for season 2 then make sure to see for the like button, first in Call of Duty make sure to subscribe, turn on the notification bell and join the notification squad and I'll catch you guys later.